Washington, D.C. Only two miles from the White House, store owners prepare for another night of civil unrest. During a standoff several days ago, a Hispanic man was shot by a local officer. Now Latin immigrants converge on the city to protest. But it quickly leads to rioting. Night turns to day, and the commotion rages on. This is the most serious disturbance that I can remember since the 68 riots. Officers try to get the protest under control, but are met with harsh resistance. The public stands divided as they search for answers. It's the living conditions, and they're not being treated with respect by the government here, and they're also not being treated with respect. respect a, uh, a threshold so, for rioting, for burning oh, no, property, for threatening policemen's lives, for threatening innocent people's lives. And, la and what happened on Sunday night was a person lunged at a police officer with a knife, and that person was shot. That's called law and order. Eventually, justification for the riot expands to include all immigrant concerns. If we don't speak English, they uh, lure us at dumb and stupid and retarded. They deny us education, they deny us job, the le legitimate right to work as an honest people that we are. They came to protest a violent event, but they did it with more violence. Once that cycle starts, everyone loses. When the right to free speech gets out of hand, and infringes on someone else's right to live peacefully, that's where freedom of expression ends and anarchy begins.